transparency. The Adorama Trio are among several regional performers at this week's Edmonton International Jazz Festival. So is veteran Edmonton big band and Dixieland singer Rolanda Lee. Do you know what it means to miss New Orleans? That was Louis Armstrong's uh, signature tune. Her involvement with the Dixieland Society of Alberta, she has, uh, that society along with Rolanda's Drive, they have been um, sponsoring many musicians from Grant McEwen um, over the years. In fact, the Jazz Festival has become somewhat of a showcase for local musicians. I like the fact that they're using a lot of local um, and musicians. And I think it's great because before, it was sort of sporadic. Statistically, we're presenting more than 50% of our artists are from Edmonton. And that is growing because we have a growing uh, pool, I'll say, of young jazz musicians that are coming out of Grant McEwen. But I do make an effort to check out who's playing where throughout the year to kind of get a feel for who are the young people that are really uh, passionate about it, really good at it, um, and are deserving of support. You see right through me. Some musicians will play in various acts through the 29th. That includes drummer Effa Edorama. I'm playing with Joanna Borromeo. I'm playing with the Etoroma Trio. I'm playing with uh, Gerald Dubix Trio and uh, the Writers Guild and the Edmonton Jazz Collective as well, and I think that's it, yeah. Edmonton legends P.J. Perry and Andrew Glover are among established residents. Headliners include Bobby McFerrin. Check your program. The Edmonton market is very challenging. There's a lot of stuff going on. So just because you put a concert up, for example, Bobby McFerrin, the perception is that, well, it'll sell out but it's, it likely won't sell out. And there's Dixieland singer Rolanda Lee, One Night at Jeffries. Miss the moss-covered vines, the tall sugar pines, where mockingbirds used to sing. And I'd like to see that lazy Mississippi a hurrying into spring. We've changed the venues a little bit from year to year, but primarily we're still using the Windsor for a couple shows, our headliners. The Ardbert Suite is the mainstay, the heart of the festival, along with the, the venue across the street, which is called the Old Strathcona Performing Arts Centre. We're running parallel shows at both of those venues. Education and just opportunity to perform and meet people, so it's great. It's a fun time, you know. We always have, we always pack them in there at Jeffries. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.